we will fill it with sequence and we will clear it with the same sequence. It is filling now one by one and then it will start to clear one by one. Yes. Friends, welcome back to my channel. In last video, video number 1356 and live stream, we designed this circuit. It is serial fill register. We used CD4015 3 ICs. We cascaded all ICs together so when one segment from first IC will complete its four LEDs, four outputs, then it will enable the next pin. In this situation, we connected data pin, pin number 7 of first IC to positive VDD. So that data pin is high, at each clock pulse it will fill one LED next pulse next register it is four channel or four bit shift register serial in parallel out so each segment will activate the next one this one here this one here clock is applied to all segments in parallel all reset pins are connected together the last test MSB will reset all reset pins pin number 14 6 14 6 14 and 6 but now we will modify this circuit we will fill it serial fill and drain this time we are making a force clear that when all LEDs are turned on in one sequence that time we are making a force reset using the last test bit so all LEDs are turning off at the same time but with this modification we will fill it with sequence and we will clear it with the same sequence turning on in this direction then it will start turning off from this direction let's start to perform this action we will remove reset pin that is making a force clear we will remove it and we will connect directly to ground now pin number 6 14 14 6 14 6 will be connected to ground return VSS now what will happen when all LEDs are filled all shift registers are filled up turned on now this IC stopped working it is working but there is no more space to indicate LEDs now data pin is tied up to high we want to make it sometime low sometime high for that purpose I will use CD4049 IC that is inverter CD4049 IC its pin number 1 is VDD supply pin positive I will connect 12 volt positive to pin number 1 in this IC pin number 1 is positive voltage we will connect pin number 8 to return now we applied biasing to this IC pin 1 positive pin number 8 ground now the last test output of this circuit will be connected to pin number 3 pin number 3 that is inverter input pin number 3 will be connected to pin number 2 of the last test IC if you are using 4, 5, 6 any number last output will be connected to pin number 3 
and here we collected pin number 7 of this IC the first segment data input is high now I will remove that jumper I disconnected pin number 7 now it is floating we will connect pin number 7 of this IC to pin number 2 of CD4049 now circuit is ready the LEDs are turning off one by one it is filling now one by one and then it will start to clear one by one yes when last output will high it will invert the output of this inverter so that data pin now will high then low low then high it will toggle so using this IC using this inverter IC we can change the response of this circuit 10 Hertz so this time it is working as a serial data loading and unloading we disconnected reset pin from pin number 2 and we connected reset pin to ground then we connected CD4049 IC and we removed pin number 7 data input from positive voltage we disconnected it now CD4049 we connected pin number 1 VDD pin 8 ground pin number 3 we connected to MSB that is last test output that was connected to reset pin that is here we disconnected it we connected pin number 2 to LSB data pin that is pin number 7 of this IC before this pin number 7 was connected to positive but now pin number 7 is connected to inverter when all outputs are high the last test output that we are feeding to this IC that is this orange wire that is connected at pin number 2 that will invert the function so that pin number 7 of this IC will become too low so it will start to turn off one by one if you have not subscribed my channel until now subscribe it if you enjoyed this idea give a thumb up if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching